Here come the Monsters now. Wierenski on the right wing. Cuts in with a centering pass and they score. Kirby Reichel tips it home and Lake Erie grabs the lead. 16-42 to the opening period. Now Griffins have the puck. Here's Mealy cutting behind the defense. Right over the shot. He scores. Andy Mealy ties up the hockey game. Now the Griffins in front, score! Tyler Bertuzzi on a rebound! And the Griffins suddenly have the lead here at 2-1. to one. Chance of the save. Now they send it up the middle, Athanasi around the defense, he's in alone! Athanasi, you score! Andreas Athanasi, lightning fast up the middle! Stepped away from a pair of monster defenders! Made it look easy, undresses the goaltender, Corpusano! Griffins with some time though, lift the puck to Athanasi, behind the defense again with a shot and a save and the rebound, score! Tyler Bertuzzi has another one! And the Griffins now with a 4-1 to lead! With 12.05 to go in period number three. Svechnikov bounces off a hit, got the puck to sprawl. He angles right in front now, dropped the paint. you walk in with a drive, score! And the Griffins with a power play goal for the veteran Nathan Paint with 6.35 to go. And that ought to just about do it here in Cleveland. Right point now, Ryan Sproul holding it in. To Manthan out of Bertuzzi. He walks right in with a shot. He scores! And Tyler Bertuzzi puts an exclamation point on this one with the hat trick. I mean, again, coming in back against the wall, we knew we knew it was at stake. We knew what we had to do. And fortunately enough, we came out, played a hard fought game, and, you know, did, did what we have to do. Um, your goal, you had that double ACB again. Uh, can you kind of walk us through that goal? Yeah, I mean, Mo made a great breakout pass to me. I kind of had to. Pick it up a little bit behind me, but you know what? You put it in the area, and that's all. That's all I needed. I knew I had uh, the one D on the step. I didn't know where the other one was, but I was lucky enough to have him behind me, and just went in and uh, went to my go-to move, kind of. Um, how about Tyler Bertuzzi today? Three goals. Um, can you just talk about those? He's a playoff player. Every, every playoffs, he comes to play. He's hard. He's gritty. He's got a lot of skill. Which, yeah, when you're in playoffs, that's what stands out. And we have our we have our chem. We've had it since preseason, and I think that we're just getting better and better out there. So if we, we, we stick to what we do best, and should be a good one going back home. 3-2 uh, series now. Um, do you guys kind of feel confident? Uh, I mean, obviously now it's still backs against the wall, but is, is it more confidence now that you have to? I think even when we were down 3-0, you got to have that confidence. And with the team we have, it's we're so streaky that you never know what can happen once we get one, and then come into their arena and have, have such a stellar game tonight. So the, the confidence level is pretty high right now going back home, and I think that uh, we know uh, the business we have to take care of at home. Um, you know, double came out of the corner. Um, it was 4-on-4, four four and, you know, he tried a, a jam play, and you know, I was there to whack that one home. And then um, same with, with the second one. You know, he came down on a breakaway, and, you know, I came back and uh, whacked that one home too. And then Mo made, made a nice pass to me through, through the slot, and I just walked down and buried that one. <coughs> You know, obviously, you're, you're a playoff player. We've seen it time and time again. What's the, what's the feeling to get three? Yeah, it was my first pro uh, hat trick, so you know that was that was a nice feeling. And you know, go back home to GR, you know, to play game uh, game six is big for us. And you know, whatever it takes to you know for the team to win. Do you feel like your union line is gelling pretty well? Yeah, you know, double his speed. Uh, you know, it's unstoppable. And you know, Mo with his big body and uh, you know his playmaking and scoring ability too and you know together I think uh, we work good together we have a lot of energy. Um, how big is this game <coughs> going back home it's 3-2 <laughs> two series now um, backs are still against the wall but do you guys kind of have confidence going in? Yeah you know we, we're, we're on them right now and we can tell they're getting frustrated I think we just got to you know keep putting pucks on net to keep playing hard and you know um, you know this goalie if you get in front of his eyes he'll let goals in and we just got to keep doing what we're doing. Knubel told me after the game where I went in for Tommy that I learned a valuable lesson that even if you're not playing in the playoffs, you got to be ready to go and keep a positive attitude all the time. So that's what I was doing in practice, just working hard. and it was I was pretending like I was playing and just being a cheerleader. So, you know, it, I think it helped. <clears throat> um, we have tonight, 6-1 win. I mean, what, what's that feeling for you? Uh, it's a good feeling because the guys are scoring. I mean, it's 11 goals, four, and two games. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, it's it's good to see get Bert with a hat trick, Double A with that breakaway goal is awesome. Um, I mean, it's 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 good whenever you can break four goals, you know. So, is there any added pressure <coughs> being started when when you're down in series like this? Yeah, I think so. But growing up, mm, even in minor hockey, when I remember facing elimination, I remember always playing really well, and I like it. It's exciting. You know, it's playoff hockey and everyone's on their toes. It's it's really fun to be a part of. You know what? Um, I thought that uh, we played a strong game. I think it was a closer game than the score indicated. Um, you know, I thought Jared made some really big stops at key moments in the game, especially in the second period to keep the game at um, one nothing for them. But then once Andy Melia scored um, to tie it up, it really sparked our bench. We started to improve as the game went on. and. And then once we uh, got up on them three to one, that's the, you know, all of a sudden, it's human nature. Lake Erie tries to push and tries to surge, and so you end up giving up odd man rushes, and we we're able to capitalize on a few of those odd man rushes. But it was a solid game. It was uh, a game that we obviously had to have. Um, our goal was to get the series back to Grand Rapids, and we, and tonight, tonight we um, accomplished that. Uh, how about Tyler Bertuzzi? I mean, he's playoff player, throws up a hat-trick tonight. You yeah. Him. Well, I think that whole line was really good for us tonight. You mentioned not having Furk or Tangrady in the lineup. I think that line uh, did a lot of the heavy lifting for us, and they produced uh, four goals. Um, they're very good, and uh, they're a young line, but they they provide energy for us, and, and uh, it was nice to see them um, produce tonight because we definitely needed – some some goal support, but they were they were excellent. And Tyler, you know, like he he seems to sh you know shine in the playoffs. And I thought this was probably uh, Anthony Nasio's best game since he's been back. So um, hopefully that line keeps on clicking. Um, series now three two going back home. What's the focus from here? Well, just enjoy tonight because it was you know like it was the win that we had to have and it was emotional and. Um, and get rested up tomorrow, and then Monday we push the reset button, we get back at it. And, um, you know, same same thing applies. You know, focus on your first shift, focus on the first period, then we'll move, we'll move on from there. Um, you know, it would be certainly foolish to look too far ahead. We have to make sure that uh, we take care of business at home, not make sure that, and we, and we have to make sure that we're ready to play for 60 minutes. We're, fa we're facing a, uh, a very good hockey team. Uh, they'll be coming at us real hard on Monday, and so, uh, you know, we're going to have to be ready.